Uh, first of all, let me welcome you to Northwestern. It's so exciting to see all of you here, our foreign guests. Uh, our hope is that over this week we will strengthen our collaborations and our partnerships with you, and I look forward to talking to every single person here. But uh, welcome. Um, I'm Deborah Greenspan, Director of International Program Development. This is an office that is campus-wide and it's located in the Provost office. So I have been working with the Provost uh, since he was a dean uh, in this project, so uh, it's a long history. And um, as, as you heard, uh, Global Health is a campus-wide activity here at Northwestern. You're going to be hearing about some of these programs throughout the week. Um, but we all collaborate, we all work together, and this is one of the important things about Northwestern. We value cross-school collaborations and interdisciplinary research, and we're going to tell you a little bit about that as well. I want to tell you a little bit about the genesis of global health studies at Northwestern. Uh, as our foreign guests know, uh, medical education is a graduate level enterprise in, in the U.S. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the undergraduate uh, programs that we have created. Um, uh, students come to the university to major in anything, economics, biology, political science, and, as, and then they take uh, requirements uh, to apply to medical school. So these are the students that we targeted uh, some 12 years ago. And we thought of global health because it fulfills, as the provost said, several uh, important uh, functions. Uh, first of all, student demand. We have a lot of undergraduate students at Northwestern who are here uh, engaged in the pre-medical curriculum and who lacked opportunities, professionally relevant opportunities abroad or on campus. Um, the same with medical students. A lot of medical school students going around the world without many opportunities for structured programs. The second uh, reason why we thought of global health is because Northwestern had been engaged uh, uh, at that time in promoting cross-school collaborations, and we thought global health would be perfect. Uh, it, it requires interdisciplinary uh, research and study, and it is a cross-campus activity. So we thought it would be a very good thing to do because we have this, the uh, medical school, we had a biomedical reporting program in the School of Journalism, we had health policy studies in the School of Education and Social Policy, we have biomedical engineering, we had a number of programs on campus, anthropology in particular, that were very strong and we thought bringing them together would be fabulous. But more importantly, the uh, emerging or continuing global health crisis at that time, a lot of concern about HIV AIDS and other diseases, and we thought it is about time we do this, and it fulfills all the other requirements for a successful program. So we wrote a proposal to the National Security Education Program. It's a, a Department of Defense program, and they were very suspicious of a program on global health at that time, but we convinced them it was in the national security of the U.S. to do this. And uh, with that funding, we were able to develop new courses, programs abroad, uh, establish international partnerships. We have a lot of our uh, partners represented here, the initial partners uh, today. Uh, we hosted a number of conferences on global health. We brought people from all over the world here. And finally, in 2004, we established a formal global health minor. A minor um, is a concentration that students do in addition to their major. So students in economics, political science, biomedical engineering, political science, anthropology, um, in, any, in any field, were able to, to have a concentration in global health. And the global health minor uh, requires students to take seven courses in, in global health. It requires them, as you heard, to go abroad. First program in Northwestern that requires students to go abroad. And in order for them to go abroad, we developed a number of programs. The first one in Mexico. Uh, you will meet uh, the dean of the medical school at the Universidad Panamericana. I think he's coming tomorrow morning. Uh, a, a program in China. We have Wei Wang from Capital Medical University here. Uh, a program in Paris on public health in Europe. We have uh, Martine Banger here. 
program in South Africa at Stellenbosch, another program in South Africa in Cape Town, uh, mostly for engineering students, a program in Uganda. We have guests from Uganda as well. And more recently, we've added uh, public health in Cuba, we started in this summer, and public health in Chile for the past couple of years. We have Lillian Ferrer, um, is she here? Uh, from Chile. Ah, hi Lillian. Um, so we're very excited about these programs and we're about to start a program in Israel in the next couple of years if everything goes right in Tel Aviv. At the same time that we develop these international partnerships and opportunities for undergraduate students, we also developed opportunities for medical students in the same sites of the same countries. So now, uh, we started sending first year medical students uh, to Mexico, China, South Africa, Uganda, and we are very thankful to our partner institutions because it's not easy to receive first year medical students. They, they don't know how to do much yet. Uh, so it's easier to send fourth year medical students for rotations but we developed programs, our partner institutions, that uh, were designed to teach our medical students about uh, global health, community health, uh, infectious disease, uh, and about the cultural issues involved in doing global health work. Uh, so now uh, you'll hear in the next presentation about medical education at Northwestern, but we send over 100 <coughs> medical students abroad every year, I believe. Not all of, the, not all of them to these sites but uh, a, a lot to these sites. Uh, I'm not going to give you the great details about, uh, of the Global Health Minor, but I just want you to look at this list of courses that we uh, now offer, not all at the same time, um, in Global Health. Because this list shows our conception of Global Health. It is comprehensive, it is interdisciplinary. We have students from every discipline, from every college at Northwestern. So we try to develop courses that allow them to integrate their disciplinary major uh, with global health uh, issues. So we have courses on global bioethics, on gender, on mental health, on violence, on international organizations, on um, this, uh, infectious disease, Rob Murphy and Shannon Galvin teach that, on refugee and immigrant health, on disability. So we try to be comprehensive because we want our undergraduate students to be prepared to understand the complexity of global health problems uh, before they go to medical school so that they're ready to tackle these issues in a more serious way. And this shows you where our minors, the undergraduate minors, come from. Most of them, as you see, come from the biological sciences and psychology. But we also have students uh, from uh, what appears here as SESP, School of Education and Social Policy, MSAS is uh, Engineering, uh, Medill School of Journalism. We even have a few students in music. And we have to arrange violin lessons from, for them when they go to South Africa. So. We have everything. And um, about half of our students, of our minors, are pre -medical, in the pre-medical curriculum, but not all, as you can see. So we have a lot of students who are interested in careers in e economic policy, in anthropology, in public health, and many of them end up going to very prestigious schools in, global health, in public health. Uh, you will hear also about student groups. Our minors in global health are very, very active in student uh, groups at Northwestern, and you will hear from one of our students about Globe Med. Many of the students who came back from Mexico and from other sites, uh, that, that undergraduate students, started organizing, doing fundraising, doing projects abroad, and they became very serious about the need to do more than just do fundraising and send supplies abroad. So they have become a national organization with chapters across the US, and you will hear uh, from them. I don't take credit for, for that, but a little bit for, for the global health minor. Uh, we have other groups like Engineers for a Sustainable World who do a lot of public health related work like sanitation and water for example and we fund a lot of those efforts. And finally we got another grant just recently, NIH Frameworks Grant for Global Health which we did with, um, with uh, Rob Murphy and a faculty in anthropology and the idea of this grant was to institutionalize and strengthen 
uh, global health at Northwestern. One of the major achievements, not of the grant, but in institutionalizing global health at Northwestern was the creation of the Center for Global Health in the medical school two years ago. Uh, so that will help a lot, obviously. But these are the aims, and I'll say very little about each one of those. We developed new global health courses uh, with funding from NIH, that's the National Institutes of Health. But uh, one of the most important courses we developed was a, the, a training module on the responsible conduct of global health. Because we have over 300 minors, we have students going around the world studying global health, doing research in global health. We fund a lot of that research from the office of the provost, from our office. We have donors who provide for students uh, to do research and study abroad. So we thought, and, and, and the National Institutes of Health also required us to do this for this grant, that they need to be trained not only in the content of global health, not only on the, on the psych, uh, biology or uh, chemistry or anthropology uh, in, in all the global health courses that we offer, but also on the uh, bioethical issues, safety, cultural sensitivity, all of the issues uh, that are important in, in, a, in designing a successful program abroad. So we offer this workshop to all the students going abroad on our public health programs. Uh, at the undergraduate level, uh, all the students doing global health research with our funding, and we uh, are, are getting ready to do that for the medical school as well. Uh, this, this training module was organized by Kearsley Stewart uh, our, uh, in anthropology, also the director of our program in Uganda, and Debjani Mukherjee, who works in uh, the Rehabilitation Institute and also in medical humanities. And this is offered twice a year to all the students going abroad through our office. We also support with uh, NIH funding uh, team research projects. We have uh, interdisciplinary groups of students, multidisciplinary teams going abroad to do all kinds of research. Mostly they learn uh, how difficult it is to do research. Uh, so that's one of the things they present when they come back. They tell the next group of students uh, all the barriers and all their misconceptions about uh, doing research abroad. Um, we have developed a number of school partnerships, uh, new ones, uh, the medical school and my, my office. Uh, but one of the most important aims of our grant in our program is to bring the world to Northwestern, not only to send our students abroad, their lives are transformed and they, it's a wonderful experience for our students, but we want to bring the world to Northwestern. We want our faculty and students to interact with our partners, to learn from them. Uh, and to promote collaboration. And we do this in many ways, through our partnerships, through research, um, supporting all kinds of activities at Northwestern, uh, bringing lectures throughout the year for all our classes. In fact, there is funding for all our global health courses uh, so that they can bring one or two speakers uh, per class. So we bring speakers all the time. And the most important thing that we have done, I think, to bring the world to Northwestern and get our, our global health uh, programs out uh, and disseminated is the global health portal. Uh, that's the portal that we use to advertise this conference. Um, I'm going to try to, if I click on this, will it happen? No. no? <laughs> I guess not. Uh, but in our portal, if uh, I, in, I invite you to, to go Global Health Northwestern, because we have everything on that portal. We have information for students. We have information on programs, information on our, on our faculty. We have interviews with our partners. Uh, when they come here to give lectures, we interview them. We have the videos. Uh, we are going to uh, add a lot of content. We want you to send us videos of conferences, of, of lectures. Um, and, ooh, oh wow, wow, ooh. <laughs> see, technology. <laughs> so as you can see, there is information for students, for faculty, for our partners. Um, our goal is to have links to all our partner institutions, to your websites, to have videos, to have interviews with our partners. Let me show you an example. Um, ooh, okay. How do you go down here? Oh, there. Okay, so you see, for example, McCary. 
And I'm going to show you this because we had uh, the former dean of the School of Public Health at McCary, David Serwada, and many of you know him. And he was interviewed by Yanka Piper, who, is, uh, who uh, developed this, this site um, in collaboration with uh, the Center for Global Health. And so there are interviews, and there's information for our partners and for students before they come to Northwestern, after they come. So it's a very exciting tool for us to disseminate. Uh, maybe we don't want to hear the whole interview. There. Um, but um, so we want to do this with all of you. I don't know if we will have time this week to interview every single visitor. Uh, but we will try, and then we will go and interview you there. Uh, we have videos. We also have a blog for students. All the students going on our programs have to write for the blog. And then we can see here uh, what they're doing, what their point of view is, how they're uh, uh, processing their experience abroad. It's really a very exciting uh, portal. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay. So I, I hope you can make use of it. Here we have the blog. And um, maybe you can write for our blog as well. So we welcome you to, to use it and to provide content for it. And I hope to interview you all at some point. Thank you very much.